using our named boundaries file from our previous video, I'm going to go ahead and delete the single plan sheet name boundaries just to show you how you can do that. When you do that, it will also delete the saved views, which are part of this. So we'll select yes, and that removes those name boundaries. This time we're going to cut plan plan sheets, and I want to do them at a unique scale. So I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet, and I'm going to go to my plan plan. And notice that I don't have an entry in here, for example, for something like a 40 scale or you know, a, a 70 scale, whatever. You can use multiples of these numbers if you would like, uh, for the most part, to be able to get the right answers. So if I wanted to do, for example, uh, one inch is 25 feet, you know, for my uh, plan plan sheets, I can. I can just take the numbers here um, that were done for one to 100 and divide those by four. So let's see how we can do that. So in our name boundary, place name boundaries, I'm gonna go to uh, this time my plan plan sheets and I don't have an entry here for one inch is 25 feet, but that's okay. I can come in and say custom, and I can say uh, 25 times 12 is 300. So we can put in here the value of 300, and we'll say okay. And so that's a custom of one to 300. It does make the adjustments here, uh, except for the overlap. So we'll need to take 135 and divide that by four. And that is 33.75. And again, we don't want to uh, create drawing here. We're just going to be creating these plan plan sheet name boundaries. So we'll, again, in our start location, we'll click there. We'll select. And then we'll put in our starting station. So I'll type in 118. And let's say that I want to do uh, four name boundaries, which would give me two sheets at a 25 scale. So I'm going to select that to place my name boundaries. And then we'll go again to our name boundary create a dialog and we'll expand down. We'll turn on our two icons as we learned prior. And then we will go ahead and create our dual plan sheets. And again, we can go one per sheet per drawing. I'm just going to put them all in here as we learned how to do that prior. We need to make sure we change our scale. So again, we'll be custom. Uh, this will be 300 in this case, because we're going to do one inch is 25 feet. So you have to take 25 times 12. So one to 300, and that's already filled in for us here. Again, you can change uh, your saved view name. You can change your drawing model name and your sheet model name. And so we'll select OK. And that will burn those uh, into this file in my example here. But again, you'll want to put those in separate files for production. I'm just simplifying the process for instructional purposes. We'll see that what those are look like. And so here we'll have our dual plan sheets. And so now if I come back here to my first sheet model, you'll see that, for example, uh, we have plan on top of plan. And we can toggle off our construction class with the F7 uh, function key. And so just a, a side note, uh, you can also turn on and off uh, things individually in your design model. And then when you come back to your sheet model, it will take on those uh, changes as well. So that's how we cut a plan plan sheet.